after you have imported the horizontal and vertical geometry from the native product, in our case En-ROADS, you may notice that there are two graphics displaying for the alignment imported. If we rotate the view, we can see the two graphics are 1, a horizontal alignment, and 2, a 3D alignment. We can verify the elevations for the 3D alignment by snapping to the graphic elements and checking the readout in MicroStation. Let's say we would like to change the display of the 3D alignment. We can go about this two ways. We can change the native symbology associated to the geometry in the native product, or we can use element templates. Let's look at the first workflow, changing the native symbology. If we edit the properties to the geometry, we will see that the feature definition is proposed horizontal alignment. If we return to the Project Explorer to view the properties for the specific feature definition, we will notice that the 3D properties has a native style of proposed horizontal alignment. We can return to the native product and edit the style proposed horizontal alignment. This time we will edit the surface feature option as we saw in a previous video, Import Geometry. The Geometry Feature folders change the horizontal alignment symbology. If we continue to the surface feature folder and select symbology, we can then edit the associated symbology. In this case, plan line is shown to be in gray on proposed center line level and a dashed line. We can verify this by viewing the graphics in plan view. If we change these settings, we can change them to display a yellow line that's solid with a weight of zero. We can hit OK and apply and apply this style. Notice the graphics did not change. The same procedure needs to be processed toggling this feature definition. We can toggle the feature definition under the properties for the graphic element. Select the graphic element and select the first option properties. Notice the feature definition is proposed horizontal alignment. We can use the drop down to toggle between two alignments. When we deselect the graphic, we will notice that it has the yellow solid line that we defined under the native style. We can turn the 3D alignment on and off by turning off the level under Level Display. Now let's look at our second option, Element Templates. First, let's open the Element Template dialog. We can do so by going to Elements in MicroStation and selecting Element Templates. If we expand the DGN or DGNlib file name that we are in, we can see the two folders that were created in previous videos. We will now create a new folder called Geometry. We can do so by right-clicking on the DGN or DGNlib file name and selecting New Template Group. We will call this template group Geometry. And then we will define a new template by right-clicking on the Geometry folder and selecting New Template. Our new template will be called 3D Alignment. Let's go ahead and define the element template under the feature definition. We can do so by going to the Project Explorer and right clicking on the linear feature definition for proposed horizontal alignment. Select Properties. And for the 3D display, we will right click on the native style and select Delete. This will now allow us to select an element template with a drop down list. We will navigate to Geometry and select 3D Alignment. If we close the Properties dialog, we will notice that there have already been some changes made to our 3D Alignment. These changes are what is showing in the current properties for the element template defined in the Element Templates dialog. If we return to the Element Templates dialog, we can make our additional changes. Let's say we want the style to be proposed center line, the color to be red, the line style to be dashed, and the weight to be 2. 
Notice the changes are made instantaneously. Again, we can turn on and off the 3D alignment by turning on and off the level under Level Display.